All right, now I posted a poll a few days ago on the channel asking you guys whether we need the iOS 17 standby feature on the Samsung Galaxy phones or not. About 50% of you guys said no and about 30% of you guys said yes, it is required and close to 20% of you guys said you are not aware of this feature. Now, to some extent, I do agree with you that this feature is not really needed on Samsung Galaxy phones as of now, mainly because the Galaxy phone is not ready for it yet. I'll tell you the reason why. As far as the feature on the iPhone is concerned, this this is just fantastic. In the later part of the video, I'm going to show you how exactly this whole feature works. But first, let me tell you why Samsung is not ready yet for this feature. Now, the first thing to note is to enable this feature, the phone has to be connected to the charger and it has to be positioned in landscape mode for the standby feature to get activated. And this looks cool only when you place the phone on a charger like this. This is a MagSafe wireless charger. The iPhone gets attached on this charger magnetically, making this entire display clearly visible and stand out when it is placed on the stand. Now on Samsung Galaxy phones, we do not have MagSafe feature using which we can attach the phone on a stand like this. However, if you have a case which is MagSafe compatible, like the one I have here, the Pitaka case, this is MagSafe compatible case, I will be able to attach the phone magnetically on this wireless charger. But most of the Samsung Galaxy phone users may not have this MagSafe compatible back case. So even if this feature arrives on your phone, we will have to place the phone on a stand like this and then use a cable to charge it. If you place the phone on a flat charging pad, it wouldn't look cool. Of course, we do get some accessories like the metal plate, which can be placed inside the case and attached on the magnetic chargers, but that may not work for everyone. So this is mainly for iPhones, which has got this MagSafe feature where the phone gets attached on a stand like this magnetically. That definitely makes it look amazing. Now, as far as Samsung Galaxy phones are concerned, we do have some workaround to enable this kind of a feature. I have posted a video regarding the same. So if you missed it, go ahead and hit the link in the description. That video is quite interesting. You can go ahead and check that out. Now, coming to this feature on the iPhone, phones, I would say this is a great feature for those of you who use wireless charging. To enable this feature on the iOS 17, we have a setting called standby in the settings menu. Just tap on that. You've got standby toggle here. When always on is enabled, the display will intelligently turn off when not in use. When attention is detected, iPhone will not put the display to sleep. So this is kind of a smart feature as well. When the attention is detected, the phone will not put the display to sleep. And we've got another option here. It's called night mode. When you enable this, standby presence in a red tint with low ambient lighting. We're gonna take a look at it in a minute. Then we've got motion to wake option as well. Standby will turn on the display when motion is detected at night. That is again a cool feature we have got. So it's a smart feature and it is just brilliantly executed. As you can see, the screen gets turned off when there is no movement in front of the screen. I'm just holding the camera and standing still. And the moment I move, the phone detects the movement and it turns on the standby mode. That is really insane. Let me just stand still for a couple of seconds here. As you can see, the screen turns off. And when I make a move, it turns on. That is just fantastic. This is the reason I said this feature is so well executed by Apple. The standby mode also shows the notifications whenever you get it. It just pops up on the screen right there. Now let me place the phone on this charging pad here. I wish this instantly start the standby mode as in when it is placed on the charger. So we will have to wait until it gets activated. There you go. This is the standby mode. We have got three different pages here. We can swipe left or right to get to different modes. Now this is the widget mode wherein we have got different widgets. We can separately customize the left side as well as the right side of the widget. These are two different pages. As you can see, there are multiple widgets available here. You can set the one you want. And if you want to add more widgets, just press and hold on it. Here we've got a few options. On the left hand side top corner, we've got plus button where we can add some of the additional widgets on this page to set it up when the standby mode is on. Now this is the clock mode. We can swipe up to have a different clock style. As you can see, we have got different colors, different fonts. We've got a world map clock here. And this is a cool looking digital clock as well as analog clock. Now these clocks can also be customized. We can set up different colors to it, which is actually amazing. I just press and hold on this. As you can see, we've got this white dot here. I can tap on this. This is where we can select different colors and it automatically selects the color combinations here. That is just beautiful. So beautiful looking clocks can be set as the always on display when the phone is charging. Then we have got this gallery widget where you can see your memories, your photos which you've taken in the past. This can also be customized. You can just press and hold on this and tap on plus 
to add additional pictures or folders here. And these images will keep shuffling every few seconds. Probably in the future, we will get some more customization options for this as well, because there is no customizable time interval as of now. Maybe in the future, we will get that. Now, this is the night mode. When this feature is enabled during the night in the dark room, the standby mode will be presented in red tint with low ambient lighting. And if you have enabled this motion to wake feature, this mode will turn on the display when the motion is detected. Anyways, this is the standby mode on the iPhones. And I would say this feature is just incredible. And like I said in the beginning, this is not for Samsung yet. You let me know what do you think, whether this is really needed on Samsung or not, drop a comment. And while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find it useful. Thanks for watching. My name is Salyan signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.